All right, so um, I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna go over number 12. So this is page 25, number 12. And we're gonna be ordering these numbers from least to greatest. So we order these numbers from least to greatest. The numbers are square root of seven, two, and the square root of eight over two. All right, so um, the square root of seven, um, we have been doing quite a bit, you know, so again, like it's to me, I just want to put a, I'm going to make a little table just so I can keep my work straight, like where I'm putting this information. So I'm going to start with the square root of seven, right? So the square root of seven. So anytime I see a square root, I think to myself, okay, is this a perfect root or is this a non-perfect root? So I think one times one is one, two times two is four, three times three is nine. It is not one of those numbers, but it is between four and nine. So I'm gonna put that on my number line, right? So the square root of four, and here's three, which is the square root of nine. And now I think to myself, where is seven going to be? So I'm gonna have a square root of five, six, seven, eight. So somewhere in here, right? And here, this would be 2.5, it's probably a little bit more. So I'm going to guess 2.6, 2.7, I, I think I'm gonna try 2.7. That's what I'm going to test. So I need to take 2.7 squared, right? Because four is two squared, three is, you know, three squared is nine. So that's what I'm doing here. So 2.7 times 2.7, right? And I don't think we all need to watch me multiply. So here we go, 2.7. times 2.7, 7.29, all right? So that's actually a little too much. So that means, right, so this is, because I see this is more, more than seven, right, and we're looking for the square root of seven, then I'm going to go down, right, one, so then I'm gonna test 2.6. I'm gonna go down one-tenth and I'm gonna test 2.6 and just see where that takes me, 2.6 times 2.6. So, 2.6 times 2.6, right? So that is 6.76. Well, these are both really close. So for me to really kind of figure it out, you know, it might be somewhere in between. So like, you know, it could be 2.65 times 2.65. That might be closer. So, you know, that is something that could go that, that could be something that we need to figure out is exactly, you know, that it is really close. This is going to be, right? So here, remember, we would want to subtract and find the difference between those two um, values, right? So if I took the difference here, 7 minus 6.76, that is 0.24. And, right, 7 minus 7.29, that is going to be um, 7.29 minus 7 is 0.29. So actually this one is a little bit closer, but those two values are really close to each other. So I think I'm going to go ahead and say it is 2.65. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, we, from what we've been doing, it's 2.6. That is a slightly closer, right? So, but we could even estimate an uh, even stronger estimate to say that it is 2.65 because it's, it's really close to that. So we're just going to hold those two in there and see if we need to figure that out. Now, um, this actually is helpful, right? What we just did, because now we have the square root of eight over two. So I'm going to use kind of some of this information that we did here to help with this next expression. So square root of eight over two, right? This is going to be divided by two. We cannot divide right now. This is different. So pay attention. This is not the same as this. These two things are not the same. This one, the square root is the square root of eight, then you would divide by two. So you have to do the square root of eight first. This includes the whole fraction. So then you would divide this and, and go from there. All right. So this one, eight divided by two is four and the square root of four is two. All right. The answer to this is two. It is not, this is not the same. So when you're looking at math, you really, it's just like any other